Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18. So where we left off in our last video is we had a very rocky end to the video. I had a few accidents. Our frames per second uh, dropped considerably, uh, more than half in fact. Uh, when we got toward the end we were down to in the teens on our frames per second and I did some looking uh, and it turns out that is a known issue that if you try to finish up the route after you get to the end of course uh, if you've not been with us in previous videos when you get to the end of your your route you've you made it to your last bus stop the terminal stop the game gives you the option to press the end button and simply come back to the main menu like you see now or you can try to drive the bus back to uh, the bus garage well normally I've just been hitting the end button and and we've been done with it but this time uh, we were so close and I felt like okay let's just go ahead and change things up a little bit and drive it back to the garage well that turned out to be a horrible idea uh, because we ended up losing money out of the deal but uh, so it's turned out that's a known issue that as you get uh, close to the bus garage for whatever reason don't know why that is a known issue that your frames and the stuttering and all that stuff will instantly become a problem. So we're going to not do that for a while. I have no idea when the first patch to this game is going to be released. It might actually be released between the time that I record this video and the time that the video gets released. Who knows? Uh, we'll deal with that uh, along the way. But what I have planned for today's video is we're going to try to see if we can't get to this 180 passenger threshold. Last time we were actually able uh, to get to 140 but of course then there's a lot of issues with well the route we were running actually contains all of the stops within this area and this is of course the only area that we can get to right now let's actually go ahead and get rid of yeah let's get that out of the way except for the one that we've pinned so we can't go to these other places right now on the map we can't get to these uh, and all of those stops just yet. We've got to get to 180 passengers. So what I think I'm going to do to keep you guys from having to watch me go through all of this process uh, and go over the same routes multiple times, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this stuff off camera. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start out by keeping this same route, but then I'm going to try to do some different things. I'm going to try it during the daytime. I'm going to try, you know, at night. I'm going to try to do it at dusk and do different things like that. I might even try to run it in reverse just to see what happens. Okay, and, I, and then once I get done with that, hopefully by the end of me testing, we will have made it to our 180 passenger threshold and then we can move on uh, about our business with the game and unlock some, uh, some new stops for us and that kind of thing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back momentarily and hopefully I'll be back with some good news. All right, we're back and well, it just happened. As you can see on the screen, 180 passengers transported and really it was on the first try. So I didn't have to take many tries. I was thinking of all the different possibilities that I could do to try to get more passengers. Again, we did that route uh, previously to get 140 passengers in our last video with at night and it was raining and all sorts of stuff like that. So I knew there was a possibility that we could get more without having to edit any of our routes just by the different uh, possibilities with the time of day as well as the weather but I didn't know how much it was going to affect it. It turns out we got to 180 by going at dusk. That was the first thing I tried with our normal route. I didn't make any changes to it and we got to 180 passengers. Uh, you can see here we made 27,457.88 and our other route made us 10,000 17 11. so and of course we already know that this is half of what we got whenever we drove the route so it's not quite as good as i thought even though we had the rush hour uh, to deal with during uh, this particular route whenever we got that amount of money so i feel like this is a very good amount of money of course this last time we got uh, in the last video we got twenty five thousand seven hundred seven, but we also had some negatives because we had collisions so we had to pay for that damage but other than that uh, things went very well we earned another thirty six thousand three seventeen ninety nine putting us up over two hundred thousand once again so let's go ahead and move back to the map this should take care of all of our objectives and should trigger the next thing which is oh we just saw it trigger uh, but first let's take a look now 
We see this at the bottom. I'm going to read through this. Uh, the city administration just called, but I have turned down her voice uh, so that we don't have to hear this every time. Looks like it's going too fast for me to actually keep up with. So uh, you guys can actually rewind the video a little bit if you want to read through all of that. But you can see that they've opened up an agricultural area. And now we can see that we've been dealing w exclusively with this portion of the map. Now we have several additional stops here in Oakville, as well as a small northeastern portion of Old Town that we have access to uh, right now. So this is very good indeed. We also see mention of uh, a round trip. All right, let's go ahead and bring up and just take a look and what we have so we're going to some rural areas they mentioned the agricultural areas so we're going to try to improve the working condition of the business park by connecting the villages and the different grounds to it okay so that sounds interesting enough have a route with a maximum of seven stops which connects oakville which is actually right in this area behind this on the map uh, and then we have some names that i am not going to attempt to call out, but we got a minimum two stops there, minimum two there, and then the business park there. Okay, so drive it in a round trip mode. Okay, we can do that as well. And let's see, this looks to be very familiar. Okay, so it's another different route with some different stops. Drive the route, use drivers to generate income on two routes. Okay, that shouldn't be all that difficult. And have an income of 19 thousand I'm assuming is what that's supposed to be per week well that shouldn't be an issue because we've been well over that uh, so unless our income on these new stops goes down dramatically uh, that shouldn't be an issue so Oakville and let's see about these other two okay oh well, there we go that's what I was looking for and then here's the other place again which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce so now what it wants us to do is have a route with a maximum of seven stops, which connects these three things. Okay, so let's try to do that. But one of the things that I'm going to want to do is now that I have got this route up and going, and we still may go back, and now that I think about it, we may go back and, and do this one again and try to have uh, all of the stops on it. But for right now, let's go ahead and move forward with the storyline. And one of the things, since they don't show us any objectives that relate to uh, purchasing any new vehicles, it looks like we're going to be fine to do that on our own. So let's go ahead and head over to the bus garage. Now, one thing we did do is unlock a new type of bus. This is our starter bus that we're looking at now. This is our newest bus, which is the one I've been driving around. And then if we keep going, uh, it actually told us that told me that we had a new bus opened up, but it's not showing. Interesting. Okay, no big deal there uh, for me. Oh wait, there it was. I always forget to take it off the My Buses and go back to the shop. All right, so my bad there. So these are the two buses we've been using, but now we can unlock, or we have unlocked a new one. So let's look at the differences here. So we got 35 seats and then 25 more to stand. So a total of 60 there. And as opposed to here, we had, all right, just, it's going to be a little bit better than what we were dealing with uh, with our next bus. The difference being, uh, it appears that there's a lot more standing room on this one. If we, yeah, I mean, you can see there's definitely more standing room uh, in this area particularly. And it looks like we've got another area or two in the toward the back. Okay, so it's got more standing room, and of course, more overall. Uh, it costs two hundred forty thousand. Uh, the one we've been using cost one hundred fifty-eight, or if we want to go with the beginner bus, one hundred twenty. So I think for now, uh, I would like to have this one, and that'll be the next one that I'll plan on getting. But for right now, I am going to purchase another one of these. So let's go ahead and buy that bus. One hundred fifty-eight thousand gives us plenty of money left over. Okay, there we go. Now if we go over to my buses, maybe. Can we can we do that? Maybe not. All right, I'll tell you what, how about if we come back out and then go back in? 
Okay, it does not want to let me go to my buses right now. There's obviously something I'm doing wrong, so we'll just move ahead to the next phase, which is we need to hire an employee to take over the route that we had just been running. Also, we see that Andreas here has, he is almost out of apprentice. He's almost driven long enough to uh, move up to the next phase, which of course will increase his salary and should increase the income that we get for him. Looks like our next batch of folks that we can hire are also all apprentices. And I really have no idea if anything we see over here, some of the interesting uh, stories that we read about, I'm not sure if any of that affects anything with their driving skill. I have no idea. So uh, some of these I recognize from before. So let's go ahead and see what we've, uh, what we've got. Because uh, I remember believes the world on the is on the edge of a galactic cataclysm. That doesn't sound like somebody we really want to hire. Uh, let's see. Most porridge devoured in a day. Okay, interesting. Failed to become a rock star. Loves to watch cartoons. Owns a hamster. Wow. Slightly short-sighted. Interesting. I mean, it says slightly. That's not a bad deal. I have to wear glasses sometimes myself, so I can't fault them there. Uh, thinks to be a great magician, is afraid of white rabbits. Okay, interesting there. I think what we're actually going to go with is, let's go with, let's go with Friedwin Klaus. Here, let's go ahead and hire him for no particular reason, really, other than I didn't see anything bad that would affect his, potentially affect his driving, if that even matters. All right, so let's go ahead and first thing we need to do is we need to set up a new route before we get up here and assign our new guy. So we need to, let's see, have a route, Oakville, and then the other two, minimum two stops in each, but a maximum of seven, okay? In fact, let's just go ahead and pin that one so it'll stick up here. All right, so Oakville, I think what I wanna do is let's go new route and we're gonna go Oakville right turn down there we're gonna go straight down the road to our second location and then I'm gonna go right there so I, that will give me a total of seven, which was the maximum they gave me. And it also hits two in each of these at least. All right, let's go ahead and save that. Now we have our third route, which again, sort of annoyingly, it doesn't call this route two. Okay, let's go ahead and assign a driver uh, to this one. Okay, assign. Klaus, all right, he will be on that one. And let's see, assigned buses. We need to assign him a bus. Really doesn't matter to me which one he takes because they're both the same. Although I really wish there was a way that you could assign this and not have to worry about it anymore. And even a way uh, that I've seen mentioned on the forums that sounds like a really good idea to me to favorite a bus over here, that, that you have a certain bus that you want to drive on a regular basis, regardless of the route. And so you could just put a star or something next to it and the AI would never drive that bus. And of course that would also make it immediately visible to you which bus it is that you are driving. Okay, so we got one and one here, driver and bus in the first two, and we're gonna be driving the next one. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, let's start our drive. Okay, we're going to go back to, i tell you what, let's go ahead and do this one at daytime. Just because it's going to be the first time we drive it, everything else will leave the same. And I think, is there anything that tells me that these buses are already taken? Not that I see. We're going to take the new one, which we didn't even get a chance to... Uh, to paint or add any decals or anything. So hopefully they'll give us an opportunity to do that soon. But for now, it's time to drive our new route. So let me go ahead and turn down the volume here on that just in case. Wait a minute, where are we at? 
this doesn't look like where I want to be. Uh, this looks like where we've been. Okay, let's let's exit out of this. Where are we? Yes, we are on a different one. Okay, let's abort this trip. Okay, so we're going to do this one. Okay, apparently I had this one still highlighted. Okay, my bad there. We'll try this again. Learning the hard way, which is pretty much the only way I know how to do it. So daytime, everything else is the same. And hopefully we'll be on the right trip this time. Okay, there we go. Some new scenery here as we look around. Let's try to get everything set up and turn on our blinker and we're off. Okay, let's get everything turned on. We're going to stop. I noticed that we didn't have any, uh, there was no mark on the ground for this one. Let's go ahead and press F3 this, well, this guy's not even going to let me get a chance to do it. He needs some tickets, uh, which is good, because that's how we get paid. And quantity of two. Get him some change. And we'll be off and running. This guy needs a student ticket. Only one of them. You got it. Exact change. And we'll hit. So F2 is what they call the action camera. So you can see outside. F3 is the camera where we can see, essentially, from our uh, rear view mirror inside the cab. Looks like everybody is on board. Let's go ahead and close the doors and we'll be on our way. Okay, no traffic. Let's head out. So our expectations here is that we're going to get less money running this route than what we had been getting. Um, I guess because it's a more rural area, maybe they're estimating that there's going to be a lot fewer passengers. I'm not sure exactly what the reasoning is, or it could be a combination of all of the above. Let's try to make this turn without hitting anything or anybody. And okay, looks like we got it. And immediately we've got our first stop. And again, no box out here that lets me know this is where you're supposed to stop. Okay, let's get these tickets taken care of. So we need week, student, and we need a couple of them. You got it. Two dollars change. Week, regular, and only one this time. Two dollars change. Thank you very much. Let's hit our action camera. Nobody waiting. Everybody appears to be seated. Let's go. Okay, no cars coming from behind, so we'll make our way. So it looks like it's giving us, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, again, that's where our, our timer is, and it only shows the time that it's giving us to show up on time at the next stop. So it's not an overall system like you might be used to uh, if you live in a bigger city with public transportation. It's not an overall clock. Okay, so we got somebody in the way here. And we know from the past that we need to honk our horn at them and they take right off. Okay, they're threatening to stop inside our box, but nope. They get out of the way. Okay, there we go. Let's hit that F3 button. See, we got a few people coming off. And it looks like several people coming on. Let's see if any of those need tickets. And yes, indeed, they do. Okay, week-long senior ticket. You got it. Okay, looks like that's the last one. Like we got one more person that hopped in there at the last. We'll let him get seated. And again, I, right now I am not checking for fare dodgers very much, if at all, just because I'm trying to move things along, and I, I really want to experience what this game has to offer, and just sort of see what the objectives are and and how we can work with that. Not terribly worried about... Okay, that person just walked right out in front of us. So that was not good, but I don't think we hit her. Okay, looks like a bus will hit the curbstone. That's to be expected for me, unfortunately. 
Not going to be leaving my day job to become a bus driver anytime soon. Let's try to get in here as best we can. A couple people waiting outside. Looks like three. And looks like it's time to do some tickets. Okay, week long. Regular, just one. Correct change. Thank you very much. And another student ticket. There you go. Are we in good shape? It looks like we are. Okay, and we are out. So now we're going to be heading into our new area. Okay, so we're going to head right. And let's see what we get here. So another opportunity to have to look left and right. And it looks like we are clear to go. Again, try not to hit anybody or anything. Easier said than done for me. So far, so good. A right-hand turn. I like right-hand turns a lot better than I like left-hand turns in this game. All right, let's see if I can get through here without hitting anything once again. Oh, it looks like we've got a turn over here to the right. All right, here we go. Unfortunately, I don't see anybody waiting for us at this location. We'll see if anybody needs to get off. Yeah, it looks like we got a few people. So we're definitely nowhere near capacity for this particular bus. That is for sure. Okay, let's head back out. All right, now we'll be turning left up ahead. Let's go ahead and get in that lane. Now, it doesn't seem to care if I use my turn signal to swap lanes while I'm driving down the street. It only seems to care if I use it or don't use it when I'm actually making a turn. So here, where am I supposed to turn? I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go right here. All right, well, we're going to go right through here. And I hope that's right. And yeah, that was interesting. That was a lot of different possibilities there. All right, there we go. Looks like I didn't get my indicator on that time. Turn signal was not applied correctly. Good news is all we miss out on is a little bit of XP. So if you decide not to do that at all and you never use the turn signals, it's probably not going to hurt you very much at all over the long term. Okay, another senior ticket. And ex oh, exact change. Thank you very much, sir. All right, let's F3 real quick. Looks like everybody is good to go. Nobody is still outside. So we are going to head on out. All right, looks like I'm actually supposed to turn again right here. Jumped a red light. I stopped. Okay, you, I must have went a little bit farther forward than you wanted me to. All right, well, we'll just try to keep going. I like that term, though. Jumped a red light as opposed to run a red light. All right, we are supposed to yield here. And let's see, somebody coming this way. 
Ooh, look out, don't hit me. Okay, nobody coming from the right. Okay, I think we're good here. Hope so, anyway. Those puddles get me every time because I keep expecting that they're going to be a pothole like the one I just hit. But they never are. All right, let's see if we need to dodge anybody. Nobody yet. All right, trying not to hit stuff. And I think we got by with it. I think so, anyway. All right, and our, I believe this is our last stop, actually. I think so. All right, so I believe everybody's going to get off here. Ooh, look at that parking job, boy. Woo! All right, yeah, it must be the last stop because they want us to hop out and go pick up some trash. That's one of the possible actions that you might have to do. There it is. I see it right there. Looks like, okay, looks like that's all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to press end. All right, so we did have a few negatives here. Okay, so we still got a little bit over four stars. Got a couple of new decals and a new purple color. Now that I might put to work. Uh, but overall, yeah, I kind of like this. This is this is good overall. I will take it. So, of course, it's going to take us a while to level up these particular bus stops because it's our first time getting to them. And so you see, this, is, this number represents the maximum number of drivers who can service a stop, which is two. And quite frankly, that's probably about all we would want to do but here very shortly it looks like we'll be leveling that up to three and we ended up making some pretty good money only one fair dodger that we could have potentially caught by working our way through the bus uh, we got a speeding ticket for real I don't even remember when that happened but the jumping the red light I did see so driving too fast okay we still end up with twenty thousand six hundred and thirty nine dollars still not bad and let's take a look at what we get from now an additional two drivers two AI drivers you can see that one particular route making very good money again this starts out if you have a um, a rookie driver or someone who has zero uh, experience they make half of what you make on the best time of driving that route. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's some work to be done here on our very first route, some editing that we could do. Uh, but overall, everything looks really good. We come out with a total of $41,878.77. So our income keeps climbing. We will certainly take that we have three buses on three routes and of course two AI drivers and yes I will take it so the last couple oh how did we not get this all right I'm confused I missed something oh I gotta go to the business park okay I got you I got you. I was so worried about. You know, okay, no big deal. Again, I got to learn to pay more attention to these weird names. They're weird for me, anyway. All right, so we got to go Oakville, and then here, and then we got to go over to the business park into this area. Okay, so not bad, but I still like this particular route that we were on, but. Uh, let's go ahead and do a new route and let's go pretty much what we did before and let's see I can only have a maximum of seven stops that's four um, I want to stop here though I really do want to do that there and then we will work our way over to here and then for right now 
if I can see it. There we go. So that gives us our maximum of seven stops, and I believe gets us where we need to be. The good thing, though, about uh, this previous route that we just got done with that turns out did not satisfy uh, what we need to do for the purposes of the game. Uh, the great news is even whenever you do a route wrong, you still get all that money that you earn toward purchasing another vehicle. So it's really not the end of the world as far as I'm concerned. So now we've done this part and let's see, drive it in a round trip mode and then we'll do another route. Okay, so very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and end the video here. So we have set up the route it just as it wanted to. When we come back next time, we'll go ahead and make that round trip drive. And then we'll set up the next route it would like us to do and then drive that one. Hopefully by the end of our next video, we'll have enough money to buy yet another bus. And this time we'll be able to buy the third bus in the order, the next upgrade for us. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate uh, all of your support and stay tuned as next time we'll be continuing our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18.